Unzip the archive and run the 3D Draper setup program on the computer where you plan to use the UE plugin. Please note that 3D Draper should be installed and registered on the same machine you plan to run Unreal Engine with the Draper plugin. Make sure to configure your antivirus program to exclude the 3D Draper and plugin files folders from auto protect and scanning. Your antivirus programs might get suspicious of encrypted and rarely used binary files and prevent the programs from running correctly. Launch 3D Draper for the first time. You will be presented with the registration dialog. Copy your hardware ID. Optionally specify your registration name. Email us this information. You will receive a registration key to start using the program. Once you have registered 3D Draper on your computer, Copy both folders content and plugins from Unreal Draper folder into your Unreal Engine project folder. The plugin should be ready to run. Add a human character skeletal mesh to your scene. Select the pose suitable for garment draping. It is usually in a pose or a fitting pose. Click add component in the detail panel and start typing Draper. Select Draper Simulation Component. Optionally, you can select a different hidden mesh to be used for the cloth simulation. For example, you might want to reduce the number of polygons for the body parts that don't participate in collisions such as the head, arms, and feet. Select an OD level for the mesh you want to use for the physical simulation. Click the Export button and select the location for the mannequin mesh to be exported in OBJ format. Now let's design some clothes in 3D Draper for your character. You can design your own garments or use the 3D Draper sample files. Let's open one of the sample files. Import your character of BJ file and adjust the patterns, sizes, and positions around the mannequin if needed. Refer to videos linked in the description below for the basic 3D Draper functionality. Run the simulation and if required, adjust the garment position on the mannequin. With the simulation running, export the three garment draped around your character into a specified location to be used in Unreal Engine Draper plugin. Now we can import the clothes for your character in Unreal Engine Studio using the Draper simulation component for your character. Click the plus button to add one or more garments. Click the three dot button and select the garment folder where you exported a garment for this character. You should see the garment loaded and positioned on your character. In order to modify the clothes fabrics using Draper Editor, click the Edit button. The Draper Editor panel will open. Click on the Select Material button for the fabric you wish to edit. This will show all the material properties you can modify or set up from scratch. For instance, change the fabric color. Modify the color map. Adjust the texture dimensions. Select between translucent and mask modes. Adjust the normal map strength, and so on. Finally, you can save your fabric settings for this garment or export it to be used in the future. In order to start the simulation, you need to either play the current level with a selected animation for your character, or add your character to the sequencer. During the play mode, you can use your cursor to move the fabric and adjust the garment position on the mannequin. When adding several garments, the order of the garments in this list is treated as layers, so the first garment will be kept underneath the second garment, and so on. For a multi-GPU system, you can design it a specific GPU for the cloth simulation by selecting the bus number for that GPU.
Negative one correspond to the default GPU. This can be useful when the default GPU is used for other heavy tasks, such as groom hair or when using several clawed characters. The cloth simulation takes some time to initialize. So if your animation sequence starts with fast movements, the simulation may not catch up. In this case, consider slowing down the first few seconds of your animation. For example, start from a static pose or add some slow movements at the beginning. The cloth simulation is sensitive to the situations when parts of the character mesh are crossing each other or the cloth gets pinched in the armpits under elbows or knees. Situations like these need to be resolved while preparing the animations or by using blend shapes for such areas. Currently, the cloth simulation plugin has some limitations. Support for the cloth self-collision is limited and using multi-layered cloth can be unstable. Also, the current version of the plugin does not support packaging.